He's great. I, he's adorable. I know he's great because uh, people keep saying weird things to him in public. Like we got a passport photo done for him, and immediately after the photo was done, the lady was like, he is so cute. He's going to be a little heartbreaker one day. Yeah, how damaged a person do you have to be? To look at a one-year-old baby and be like, looks like he'd leave me too. What attracted you to standing up there on stage and just putting yourself out there? Funny, I was thinking about that the other day, and I have uh, no idea. I mean, I was like, a, I was a weird kid. I didn't, I thought jeans were too itchy until grade nine, which obviously didn't endear me to anyone else in class. But um, it was mostly just a way to be accepted and then turn again into a career. Honestly, the genesis was these people don't have to get up before noon. And then everyone watching 90s comedy, basically all of it was jamming it into your head. Yeah, I only work 40 uh, minutes a day. Now, maybe in the 90s, that was what happened. But now in the social media age, uh, I never stop. That's great. Yeah, well, I mean, obviously things have changed since the 90s, but actually things have changed well for you recently as well. I'm curious, a lot of comics went through this being shut down during the pandemic. Uh, how has your act changed? Because on top of that, you are also a new dad. Yes, I uh, I became a father during the pandemic. My act has uh, matured a lot and not a lot. So I just kind of talk about my kid a lot now because that's all I do. Uh, all I do is take care of my kid. I mean, being at home with a two-year-old, I'm sure other people watching this can know is, is totally exhausting. So there, I think my, my act has gotten a lot better, but also at certain points on the show, sometimes I will just stare into the, the middle distance because that is the only time I've had to myself all day. I just like <laughs> hand my kid to my wife and then I drive fast out of the city. It's, I'm not full dad yet, but I did actually, no, yet, uh, yesterday I took the garbage out in minus three and I was just in my underpants. So I'm in that dad mode where it's like, my body is gross, but I don't care. I'm not going to put a shirt on. Anyone you do, it's already plaid for dad, as I can see staring at you right now. <laughs> yes, exactly. This you is, are solidly in dad mode. Yeah, I have no pants on right now. This is great. So I'm guessing and perhaps hoping that Friday night you will put on some pants, albeit maybe not jeans, but jogging pants perhaps when you pop up on stage, though there is danger in that. Uh, what can <laughs> Burlington residents expect when they see Dylan God on Friday night? Honestly, when I'm in Burlington, I have a lot of fun and uh, I like to talk to the crowd a lot. And since I post a lot of stuff on social media, if you come to the show, odds are you'll see part of the show on my social media channels. And that's at Dylan Gott on most Twitter, Instagram. Does anyone use Twitter anymore? YouTube, all that fun stuff. So I do a lot of crowd interaction and uh, you'll see me working on some new stuff. I just recorded an album, so it'll be brand new material. You know, I always ask comedians, um, what can fans expect of them? But what do you think you can expect from the Burlington audience? Cause this isn't your first rodeo. You've been here before. Oh, yes. I've been, what do I expect from the Burlington audience? Honestly, uh, I expect very polite people. Usually it's an audience of very polite people with one couple that has been drinking since noon. So I expect that. Just a lot of people who are still kind of at work mode where they're like, oh, are we starting to have fun? And then one couple that's like, we took the day off to get drunk and yell. So you'll see something on Friday. I'm sure of it. 